So in the last couple of weeks, I have been living in DWM most of the time. That is Suckless's Dynamic Window Manager, DWM. It's a fantastic window manager. And the reason I've been kind of living in DWM the last couple of weeks is because I've been working on it a little bit on that config file. Uh, I've recently packaged my DWM build and my ST build for the AUR, the Arch User Repository. And I've really kind of gone full suckless here in the last couple of weeks. I've been using the surf browser more. Of course, I've always been a D menu user, love D menu. And here recently, I have kind of fallen in love with some of the lesser known suckless utilities. One of them I want to talk about today is tabbed. What is tabbed? Well, tabbed adds tabbing functionality to a program that otherwise wouldn't have tabbing. And so things that don't have tabbing built in, such as Suckless's ST terminal or Suckless's surf browser. They don't have built in tabbing. Why do they not have built in tabbing? It's because they're Suckless software. You don't put tabbing in each and every program. You don't build that functionality into it. No, you create a separate program, tabbed, and that handles tabbing for everything. And that's kind of the idea behind the, the Suckless philosophy. So let me switch to my desktop here and let's take a look at the Suckless website. So let me launch my build of the Surf Browser. This is the Surf Browser. It is a custom home page that I built inside my Surf Browser. Uh, by the way, you can get this build of Surf on my GitLab. I've been working on it a lot the last few days. It's, it's not complete, but if you want to take a look at kind of what I'm doing with Surf, you can pull down my Surf build from my GitLab page. Now let me hit control G on the keyboard and let's go to suckless.org because it's in my bookmarks. I need to zoom in here because the font's a little small in surf. Control shift and J and K zoom in and out. So K to zoom in. And then let's go to the tools tab. And inside the tools tab, you will see a program called tabbed. And you will see tabbed is a generic application front end to XEmbed aware applications. They misspelled front end. Somebody should mention that to the suckless guys. Anyway, you see a little screenshot here. Basically, this is a screenshot, I'm assuming, of the ST terminal. And you see that we have two tabs at the top of it. And that's basically all tab is. If you ran tabbed with no arguments, you know, from the command line, this is tabbed. It's just an empty window. Right, it does nothing. Tabbed by itself really doesn't do anything. You have to give tab a lot more arguments than that. Let me close my surf browser. We'll come back to it in a minute because I want to show you some of what I was doing with tabbed inside my surf build. But let's do man tab. And you see all the various flags and options that you can use with tabbed when you're using it at the command line. But really what you want to check out are the examples right here. They give you five examples of how you run things with tabbed and the most important ones are how to launch surf and the various terminals because i think that's what most people are going to want to use tab with so if you want to see this in action they give you the command right here how to launch st in tabbed uh, it's kind of a long convoluted command uh, you're actually launching tabbed and then st inside tabbed and then tmux inside st is what you're doing with that command so i don't have tmux on my system but i will show you how you would do this with just launching ST inside tab. You would do tab dash R space two and then ST and then give it dash W and then space and single quotes, empty single quotes, nothing inside it. Hit enter. And I get a new ST window that pops up. It's running inside tabbed. Now you're going to say, I don't see the tabs. It's because I patched my tab. When I hit alt control, watch what happens the tab appears. When I release alt control, the tabs go away. I have my tabs auto hide. That is not a built in functionality. I actually had to grab a patch from the suckless website, but I think it makes a lot of sense because you don't really want to see tabs, right? The only time you want to see tabs is when you're hitting a key binding to actually do something with the tabs, like move to the tab to the right or tab to the left or open up a new tab, close a tab, right? And all of that in my build of tab involves alt control. So when I hit alt control, the bar will appear. When I release alt control, the bar disappears. So if I do alt control enter to open a new tab, you see I'm, I'm, I'm viewing tabbed right now. But when I release Alt Control, I don't need to see it anymore. I only need to see it when I'm doing something with a key binding. So if I do Alt Control L to move to the tab to the right, you know, Alt Control H to move the tab to the left, 
And then when I finally release Alt Control, the tabs are gone. I think that's a really neat thing that you can do with tab. That's why I added that patch. So let me just close that terminal though. So that's how you would launch ST. A lot of you guys are going to be wondering how you launch Surf with tabbed because it's not obvious. There, there's not a lot of documentation on either tabbed or Surf and especially there's almost no documentation for people using tabbed and surf together so i had to scour the web to find a proper command but here is what i'm using i'm using tabbed space dash r two just like before surf space and then this time i'm going to do dash p e space x space and then the single quotes again now the single quotes in the surf browser you don't want to leave empty you probably want to give it a url and that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to do https colon slash slash distrotube.com and this should open the surf browser at distrotube.com and it did and it, we're running tabbed if i hit alt control you will see the tab if i hit alt control enter i can open a new tab it just opens the same page we were on inside the new tab, but I could uh, control G and go to some other page. I can go back to the suckless page, or I actually, I think I have the Arch Wiki in here. <laughs> I actually think I have pretty much all the Arch Linux website bookmarked, but here's the Arch Linux. Let's go to the home page, and this is not your standard Arch Linux home page, obviously, so uh, I have played around with some custom CSS here to give it the same look and feel as my terminals. Let me move this to a different workspace. Let's move that to the second workspace so you can see my surf browser here without all the terminals in the background. So anyway, alt Control will show me the tabs. Alt Control L moves to the tab to the right. Alt Control H moves back to the tab to the left. Alt Control Enter again opens a new tab. Control Q will close a tab. I probably should change that actually to Alt Control Q. Now that I think about it, we really want everything that involves the tabs to use Alt Control because of we're doing this auto hide thing because it doesn't make sense to do have a key binding that doesn't involve that because Alt, if you just do control Q to close a tab, you're not going to see the tab, right? It's, it's going to disappear, but you don't actually see it. So uh, that, that's something I need to fix in my build. I probably should fix that now. Let's go back to workspace one. Let me close that terminal. Let me quit out of the man page and let me CD into my build of tabbed here. So let me do an LS so you can see all the files here. And let's go ahead and check out my config.h because that is the config. You can see we're setting some fonts. Uh, I'm setting some colors. The colors are the red and black color. Same as my panel here in DWM, that's the same thing I'm using inside tabbed. You can set the tab width. The default I think is 200 pixels. I don't think I changed that. Uh, other than that, the key bindings I changed extensively. If you look at the man page, so if I go back and do man tabbed, I'm not going to zoom in because we're not really going to read it, but all of the key bindings, the default key bindings it shows you in the man page involve control shift. The problem is I'm going to use tabbed with surf and surf has a lot of key bindings and a lot of the surf key bindings involve control shift. So they're going to conflict. So I changed all the tabbed key bindings that had control shift in the key binding to alt control. That's why I do uh, alt control to show me the tabs and by default it would be control shift but if you're going to use the surf browser trust me there, there's going to be some conflicts because moving the tabs you know where i was doing alt control uh, l to go to the right h to go to the left by default that's control shift h and l well the problem is control shift h and l do things inside surf control shift j and k do things inside tabbed and do things inside surf but tabbed kind of takes precedent right so the the key bindings do have no effect inside surf and it was causing me some problems so to to take care of those conflicts i just made an executive decision because tabbed is not a very long config there's not a ton of key bindings it made sense to change the tabbed key bindings because surf has a has a million key bindings i didn't want to go down that rabbit hole it was just easier to modify tabbed Anyway, not, not much to this config. Let me quit out of that. Let me CD back into my home directory. I'm going to CD into my build of DWM. 
And let's go ahead and open the config.h file for my DWM build. And I want to show you this because let me show you exactly what I'm doing with the key bindings in this. Those of you that pull down my configs for DWM, now I have set some variables. You see right here, I've set this term command variable, and that just sets the terminal. It basically says uh, st. <laughs> That's all that is. So term command is st. No other arguments. But you see right below it, I have this variable tab term command, and that runs the tabbed version of ST. And if I open that and do Alt Control, you see now I have actual tabs in this version of ST. And let me kill that. And you will see later in the config in my key bindings, I have basically super enter mod key return runs term command, which is ST. Right under it, I have mod one mask, which is alt, the Alt key. So Alt return opens the tabbed term command the tabbed version of ST. So I, I wanted that in my config because I wanted it to be flexible. I want Some people never use tabs in terminals. I'm kind of one of those people. I don't need a tab terminal. So, you know, super enter just gets you plain vanilla ST. But if you want to, alt enter gets you the tabbed version of ST. So I, we have both in my DWM key bindings. And if I scroll down a little bit, you will see my key binding for opening up surf which is the super alt b b for browser so super alt b opens my build of surf let me close that and you see basically i am opening a local file here my own custom homepage.html that's on my system i have it on my gitlab those of you that want that custom homepage so let me super alt b and let me open my surf and this is surf with my custom home page here. And again, we've got the tabs. So alt control gets you the tabs to show alt control release. They hide. So if I do alt control enter, I'll open up a new tab. And if I wanted to, I could go to the arch home page. Maybe I want to go to the arch forums or uh, maybe I want to go to the AUR. Or maybe I want to search for some packages such as DWM dash distro tube. Well, it's actually in here. Uh, DWM-DistroTube-Git is actually the proper package that you guys want to pull down, but it is in the AUR. ST-DistroTube-Git is also in the AUR. Eventually, I do need to get around to putting my build of Surf in the AUR, my build of Tabbed in the AUR, and my build of DMenu in the AUR. I'm going to get all three of those in there. I don't know when. So that's a little bit about the suckless tabbed utility, very easy program to use, not much to it. And if you use a terminal emulator that doesn't have tabbing built in, such as ST or URXVT, then you may want to use tabbed. I know a lot of you guys expect your terminal to have tabbing. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I don't need tabbing at all in a terminal. And even if I'm using a terminal emulator with tabbing, I never use it. <laughs> but I know a lot of you guys love tabbed terminals. Uh, the Surf browser, I can tell you right now, if you use the Surf browser, you're going to want to use tabbed because web browsing is a little bit different. Most of us expect a web browser to have tabbing and to use a web browser that doesn't have built-in tabbing is frustrating. It's, it's very frustrating because this becomes such a part of our workflow, you know, having a million tabs open that when you have to use a browser that does not have that functionality, it is painful. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. The producers of the show, I'm talking about Michael, Mitchell, Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they're the producers of the show. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This episode about Suckless's tabbed and their surf browser, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by all these other names you're seeing on the screen. Each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen, they're supporting me over on Patreon. Without these guys, the channel wouldn't be possible, and the show you just watched wouldn't have been possible. You'd like to support the channel? Please do so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.